What is up players, it's Warboss Tay up in this mug. Welcome to my video unboxing and reviewing the Combat Patrol Space Marines for Warhammer 40k. So I'm going to be painting this up for my 2022 Summer Painting Challenge hosted by Darth Torlin over on the Discord. Links below in the description, you can follow along. I'm going to basically try to do everything in this box by the end of August. So that's uh, 31 days, one month's time. Let's see how we do. The box itself, you've got uh, your vehicle, your three flying guys, ten regular shooty guys, some scouts, a lieutenant that only comes, I believe, in this and the start collecting box, and uh, four of these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, these ten are the same squad. This is a separate figure, character, three scouty guys, three jumpy guys, and a floaty tank. Let's look at what they actually are. So you've got your uh, quick overview of the sprues, the bases, and this is interesting. I haven't seen this before. Use the correct bases, and then it gives you a little example of the 40 millimeter as opposed to the 32. Build variants, it shows you how to basically read this pamphlet of 3D printed instructions. I think it's great. Okay, so the Lieutenant in Phobos armor, pretty simple. Uh, it follows step by step to show how the different sub assemblies come together so that you get that as your finished product. And then your infiltrator squad, I think these are your 10 scouty guys in the Phobos armor. Phobos is the mark or the special, I guess, characterization they're calling the Primaris armor. Um, I like the different poses, I like the different, I guess, finished look. Of all of them you don't have to worry about converting and clipping and re-gluing the joints and the armor to have your guys looking different in your squad they all come together pretty well and i uh, create a very interesting looking finished squad then you've got your eliminator squad the eliminators are the scout guys the guys in the cloaks and uh, these look pretty simple and they look like they don't make sense if you just see them on the sprue, like a random leg connected to a torso. But uh, they go together in a certain way so that they look like that. I, like, I always like guys that are kneeling. I prefer Space Marines that are, or just any, any figure in general, kneeling as opposed to the heroic leg on a, a foot on a piece of rubble. <laughs> I think kneeling looks so much more interesting. And then suppressor squad. I think the suppressors are the jump pack guys. Yeah, they've got the jump packs on them. So you've got a suppressor sergeant. And then you've got the rest of the squad here. I believe these are, are these auto cannons? Oh man, they look really cool. No idea how they play in game, but they look really awesome. Finally, you've got your Impulsor tank. This is the floaty tank that comes in the kit. Uh, I've read and I've heard, watching a lot of videos on this box set, that this is basically the Vanguard Start Collecting Space Marines box with an Impulsor thrown in. And that the Impulsor doesn't really suit this box. This box is a lot of uh, either sneaky sneaky or fast jump in and uh, take objectives and uh, there's no reason to have a vehicle in it unless it was transporting like some combat guys up close combat guys like the reaver squad uh, i'm not sure how that plays in this current edition or moving forward uh, personally i think it's interesting to have any kind of vehicle in one of these start collecting or combat patrol boxes so the fact that they went with this particular one which seems like it's ill suited for the purpose of the models that come in this box uh, that that doesn't matter to me I, I get a vehicle if if you purchase this and you don't want it you could just sell it probably get a good price for it it's a great vehicle i, I think it's really cool i just don't uh, see the purpose of it with this group of miniatures <laughs> a little guy popping out hello oh you can have it closed no we don't want any we get even some options for heads. 
you have uh, peeking out there. How come, do they have the, they don't have an option to have someone actually manning this turret. I think that's kind of interesting, or the swivel mounted gun there. You only have the option to have the, the guy saying peekaboo. This is cool. Uh, the same housing can either be used to attach these. Uh, this looks like a twin link stubber or missiles. And uh, you also get a uh, different variety of doodads you could put on, like this radar array, whatever spiky bit that is. And yeah, there you go. And then it comes with the uh, attachment that allows it to look like it's floating, the optical illusion of it floating. Oh, this is pretty cool. It gives you the stats for the miniatures that come in the box. I guess that makes sense. Okay. So let's take a look at the frames and uh, then we'll wrap up this video. Of course, you get the bases. We don't really need to see those. You get the 40 millimeters, 32 millimeters, and then the flying bases, as well as the little um, peg for the tank. Where are the flying bases? Those look just like the 32 and the 40. Are they down here? Where's the little fly bits? Oh, here. They're stuck in the middle of the sprues. Alright, what we got? This look like the eliminators. I believe the eliminators are the uh, the sniper guys. Oh wait, no, giant, giant cannons, jetpacks. These are the fly guys. So uh, the Phobos armor, I think it's really interesting. It looks like it's easier to paint than the Primaris armor. I know I could be wrong. I haven't really painted a lot of Primaris Marines. Um, oh look, it's so it. There's a mixture, I guess. You get the flyboys as well as the... This is why I thought that this was the uh, scout sprue, scout looking sprue, because it had this cape. I like the detail on like the bolters. Everything looks really good. I'm going to be painting these guys up in the Raven Guard color scheme. I also heard that uh, doing Ultramarines works well because they're a, a... It's a good like gun line chapter doctrines that you can use but I think uh, Raven Guard match these guys pretty well with the uh, infiltrating aspect these guys and just the general like these guys are flying so yeah I think I think Raven Guard just matches the aesthetic pretty well so another sprue Oh, man, the detail on these guys is so great. Okay. Then these look... Are these just the regular... I think you get like a mixture. Your, um... Gosh, what are they called? your infiltrators and the eliminators are the snipers okay the infiltrators are the uh just like the regular guys and then your suppressors are the big auto cannon jumpy guys i like how the helmets have the little um radar com bit thing sticking up Is it, is it interesting? It seems like a lot of auto um, auto cannons. I guess they're all mixed in. So I wonder if because they're not like a say you get a, a combat patrol of Nurgle stuff, right? You get your ten plate bearers and your Nurglings and your uh, three dudes on the giant flies. They're not all mixed together in the same sprues. It seems that. This is, you've got another suppressor auto cannon here next to all the infiltrators. They're all mixed into the same sprues. They're all single pose. Uh, you don't have any options really 
uh, it's not like a full Space Marine kit where you can purchase them separately. So I think the only exception to that would be the uh, vehicle, the Impulsor, because that comes on a vehicle sprue. But all those guys seem to only come packaged to be in this combat patrol box. So that's pretty interesting. I've never heard of that before. Every every combat patrol or like get started collecting, start collecting box I've ever seen has been here are we cherry pick these different model kits from the range, just put them together in a big box and give you a little discount on it. This one seems to have been tailor made specifically so that the models look the way they do and they come in this box set. Uh, somebody who's been doing this hobby for more than 10 years, it's uh, interesting to me that they change their packaging up like that. I was in like these, no, nobody really paints these internal doodads and stuff, but I always like seeing them for the people who like to go the extra mile and paint the computer screens. I think I saw a White Dwarf article that showed it really great. You do some Dark Angels green to make the green screen, and then you do like Moot green or uh, just a really bright green to do the radar grid, and then you just do like little dots with that Moot green. Fun, fun stuff. Nobody will ever see it because you're going to glue that bad boy up, but fun stuff. And here's all the truck. Man, this looks like a headache, you guys. This looks like a headache to build. Whew. It's a far cry from the uh, Imperial Guard tanks with the treads that are already pretty much done. You just like s stack them on top of the, the open uh, wheel housing, track housing. Yep, looks like a lot of bits and pieces here. So I'm going to get to work building them up. If you guys would like to see how they come along or how the models all look and uh, watch me paint them, follow me along on the Discord. And uh, you can join the links right below in the description. You can see if I uh, am victorious, which I hope I will be, or if I fail utterly, which I usually do with these challenges now, now that I'm a father. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll just do a little quick view of the vehicle transfer sheet of course you got your ultramarines really really heavily pushing the ultramarines Actually, i'm not going to say really heavily there's just one line of ultramarine signals right there at the top but uh no raven guard options and the ultramarines infantry transfer sheet so it looks like if you want your raven guard insignia or raven guard markings or any other chapter imperial fists um iron hands any of the other loyalists, blood angels, whatever, then you're gonna need to get a transfer sheet for your chapter. But I think it's pretty cool that they've got, uh, you have the ability just with this, just take out the, the, the ultramarines symbols and you've got everything you need to make your guys uh, look the way that they're supposed to on the table. All right, thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you in the next video.